Hello, Waxies. I am back with another video. Today, I have a haul for you guys. It's been a little bit since I've last recorded. Don't think that I've hauled anything, but life has happened with the holidays and getting sick and my kids getting sick and traveling. It has been a lot, but I am back and I'm here with a haul for you guys. I have a haul from Ito for Essentials. She is having some deals going on throughout the month of December. She had some deals going on with Thanksgiving along with so many other vendors. Um, but yeah, I got my order yesterday, which was the first. And this was the first time I did not jump into a package. <laughs> I had an event to go to, so I kind of just opened it just to take a picture, and that was it. I haven't sniffed anything, so I'm just going to jump right into it with you guys. How have y'all been? How was y'all holidays? I hope everyone had a safe and fun Thanksgiving. Um, I know that I did. Here is my order slip. I didn't order too much this time around. Um, I wanted to keep it small. I really wasn't going to order, but there were some things that I wanted to try. And like I said, she has some sales going on right now. So I figured that I would just jump into it. I do apologize about my voice. I am getting over whatever virus is going around. So yes. And if y'all can hear like a cowbell or any noise it's my cat we have a kitten and um he's been climbing in the christmas tree and one of the ornaments is the children's um one of the ornaments is a cowbell that are one of my kids <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna jump right into it so the first thing that i see is a scoop um, I did purchase some scoops because they are on sale. I want to say they are $6 right now. This one is pink chiffon, pink sugar, birthday cake with a tiny hint of java chip. This one sounds amazing. And if y'all can hear my son in the background, he's homesick as well. Let's smell this. Oh, I like this. So when I smelled it, I get the pink sugar, but then that pink chiffon comes through. And I get a very small hint of Java chip. Java chip, I'm assuming, is chocolate. Oh, yeah, I really, really like this one. Yeah, the Java chip threw me off with this one, but y'all, yes, this one's perfect. And I feel like that birthday cake is there. But I get pink sugar, pink chiffon, Java chip, and then birthday cake. I really, really like this. My... Nose is kind of off and on with being stuffy, but I can definitely smell <laughs> compared to what it was last time. The next scoop we have is Jasmine Rhodes, Rose Tide Lavender and Spring Apricot. So I'm not really much of a big fan on floral, especially rose. But I believe Melissa was telling me this one was heavy on the rose. And I'm assuming this one is probably like filled up because the top is kind of sticking to the, the scoop here. But y'all are determined to get this open. Okay. Yep. There we go. Oh, yeah. I like this one. Okay. So this is the scoop. It was kind of stuck to the top. I 
I get the jasmine rose tied. But this one is very, very pretty. To me, this is not like smelling a fresh bouquet of roses. Like the rose is there, but it's not overpowering at all. I feel like the lavender is kind of tying in with like that powderiness from the rose tide. Yeah, this is this one is actually very, very, very pretty. I thought this was gonna be um heavy on the floral, maybe. I don't mind jasmine. Jasmine I do like by itself. Gardenia I can do in blends. Rose is just one. I'm like, mm, I don't know. This one is very, very pretty. I like this one. This just reminds me. I don't want to say it reminds me of spring because I feel like I think of like just flowers too much. But it reminds me of spring and just how fresh, airy, and pretty it is. With some floral. So I really, really like that one. The next one we have is Sweet Pea and Raindrops. I love Sweet Pea, y'all. I know some people don't like it. Um, I think Sweet Pea is just one of those nostalgic scents. I have yet to melt my Sweet Pea and Tide from my last order, which I actually think I might throw in the bathrooms today. I haven't put in any of my melts in for the day. It's still, it's very, it's early in the morning for me. Um, but y'all, I couldn't wait to jump into this package. <laughs> I usually don't record this early in the morning, but I wanted to jump into this package and I have some things I have to get done later, so I thought I would just jump right into it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> this one here. I get the raindrops. And I get the sweet pea. I love this one. This one is pretty. See, I, see, raindrops for me is like hit or miss. I feel like some vendors is just like way too florally. And then you have the raindrops that's just, it smells like the name. It just smells like rain and almost like kind of dewy just it smells like like just to me this reminds me like the raindrops just reminds me of like dark gloomy night thunderstorm rain it's what this raindrops reminds reminds me of with that sweet pea. So I don't get like your typical like Bath and Body Works sweet pea. I don't get that in this. The raindrops does something with this sweet pea, y'all. This, I love this one. I mean, I love sweet pea on its own, but the raindrops with this, This is just like fresh, almost like like sexy, but not like in a, like a deep, like sensual type of way. I like this one. <laughs> I love this one actually. I cannot wait to try that one. Okay, the next one we have, I love her names, sweating out my edges. <laughs> and this one is Citrus, Sandalwood, Rosemary, White Musk, Lily of the Valley, Magnolia, Argan Oil, and Ozone. 
So Melissa described this to me as smelling like hair products. And um, when I saw the descriptions to this and I saw Argan Oil, I automatically thought about um, there's this brand called Prima Nature and um, it has a red top with like a red label. And I automatically thought of that and I love the way that smells. And I was like, okay, it's their Argan Oil line. And I was like, okay, maybe this might smell like it. It doesn't, but oh my gosh. Yeah, this is what I would want more of, for sure. Because this smells like hair products. Y'all, this here. Okay, so... This to me, so I feel like there's like different categories of hair product scents in the sense of you have your like big store box brand like Pantene, Garnier, Suave, you know, all of those. And they kind of just have like, you know, their signature scents, you know, you know what the green bottle of Garnier smells like, you know what herbal essence smells like. Whereas you have like smaller vendors that are, you know, in stores, you know, you're a lot of your black owned businesses, hair care businesses that have different types of scents throughout different types of products. That's what this reminds me of. This to me, it's not your like generic hair care brand scent. This to me is like what I would smell in like a black owned hair care business. I love this. I would want like an oil for my hair to smell like this. Yes, this will smell so good. It's like a sheen spray or like a heat protecting oil. Shoot, even a shampoo. This will smell amazing in hair products. I really love that. Next we have, I'm going to just let y'all read the name because I don't know if I can say that first word. <laughs> So it's sea salt, ozone, jasmine, coconut, green leaves, and tonka bean. Um, so this was one um, I was interested in, but the coconut kind of just threw me off. I don't like coconut and wax. I feel like that's one thing that I can like sniff out. Now, I do feel like single oils with coconut. Like, I'm okay with, but it's more so when it comes to blends that I feel like the coconut can just be too much for me. And now, Melissa did say this was one of her, um, that she absolutely loves this one. Okay, so this was way different than I thought it was going to be. I didn't know what to expect from this, honestly. So what I get first is the green leaves. I get the sea salt ozone. And a hint of that jasmine. Like it's like. So the jasmine is definitely there to me. But the way it ties in with the sea salt and ozone. It's. So I feel like jasmine on its own, you smell it and you know what it is. Whereas I could tell there's a floral in here. I wouldn't be able to tell what floral. I don't get. Okay, I want to say I don't get coconut, but. I feel like what I'm smelling is coconut, like. I don't want to say I get coconut per se, but almost just like, 
like beachy vibes. This to me is like being on the beach with like big rocks and there's salt on it. Yeah, this to me is like, this to me gives me like beachy vibes. Where the green leaves are coming in from, I don't know. Maybe it's a breeze, <laughs> but it's just, I got green leaves when I first smelled this. And as I smell it more and more and more, I get the sea salt, I get the ozone, I get the jasmine. I feel like the coconut is like, y'all know how coconut kind of brings like a beachy vibe to scents? That's what I'm getting. Like, I don't get like coconut right off the bat. It's just, it's giving beachy vibes to this. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. I always trust, um... Melissa's word. She has she hasn't stayed me wrong so far. The next one we have is pink velvet. And I was debating on this one because I've tried black velvet and I just I don't like it on its own at all. Um black velvet, sweet pea, sultry amber, and French lavender. But I love all the other notes in this. So I was like, you know what? Let me pick it up. Excuse me, y'all. I have my coffee here. Yes, it is early in the morning. I love this gray color. Oh, wow. I like this. This reminds me of something. Y'all, I am so terrible at this. This happened to me last time in my last 804 haul where I smelled it. And I was like, man, that like... It smells like it has something else in it. And it doesn't have anything else in it. It just reminded me of another scent from another vendor. And then I figured it out. Once like the video was done and over with, I was like, oh my gosh, now I know what it reminds me of. This smells like something that I know and I cannot put my finger on it. So, to me, this is... Sweet pea heavy. I get some black velvet. Black velvet has this tone to it. It's almost, I don't know how to describe it. I, I want to say powdery, but powdery is really not the word. Dry. Like that. that, that that's the word, dry. Almost like... To me, black velvet has like that dry shampoo note. That makes any sense. Yes. Yep. I get it. I get black velvet. I get sweet pea, black velvet. I think I get some lavender, some French lavender. I'm trying to smell this, y'all. I feel like the more I'm smelling stuff, my nose is just like, okay, you smelling too much stuff, give me a break. This one I like, though. This one I really like. It's just, to me, it's just sexy. But I feel like if you're not a fan of Sweet Pea, you might not like this. Because unlike the Sweet Pea with raindrops, where the raindrops gave that Sweet Pea like a different tone. Are you okay, buddy? MJ, you okay? You okay? This one, I actually get the sweet pea. It's not heavy, but I feel like if you're like sweet pea, no, ew, don't like, you may not like this one. I feel 
think the last scoop that I have is, excuse me y'all, Palo's Pink Cake. And this one is Palo Santo Pink Sugar and Birthday Cake. I got this one from my girl's room. I usually don't um, go for blends like this, at least not for me. But I thought my daughter might like this one. Y'all, this one is like filled to the brim. And then I thought with that Palo Santo, it would make it... Oh, I think I'm going to have to take this one from her. <laughs> I get pink sugar, I get birthday cake, and I get Palo Santo. See, I like... I don't mind birthday cake, but to me, it has to be with like a, you okay? Pumpkin pecan waffles or Palo Santo. It has to be, it can't just be straight up sweetness. I just can't do it. But I get the sweetness in here, but I get the sweetness from the birthday cake. I like her birthday cake oil. Her birthday cake oil is really, really good. I get the pink sugar and I get the Palo Santo. This is exactly what you would think it smelled like. Pink sugar, birthday cake, and Palo Santo, y'all. Sorry, I am like shaking up the camera here. Next we have are the Big Mamas, which come in these containers and these are her easy cuts and this one is winter pajamas this is flannel sheets pink sandalwood i smell snow and peony petals i love flannel sheets oh i like this one so these come out pretty easy for me, yep, there we go. It has some mica the bottom there. I like this is gonna be strong. That I can tell. I get the flannel sheets, I get the peony petals, and I get I smell snow. This to me smells like clean, fresh. Flannel sheets smells um, clean to me. Like, like clean clothes, like clean sheets. This to me smells more like Like a clean, like a cleaner cleaning, like a cleaner cleaning product. Y'all, <laughs> bear with me. Like I get the flannel sheets, but I don't, I think it's the flannel sheets and the I smell snow. That to me, I get, oh, y'all, this is going to my kitchen. I'll tell you that. I wonder what pink sandalwood smells like by itself. I like this one. I'm trying to smell to see if I get anything besides the flannel sheets. I smell snow and peony petals. I feel like I do. I feel like I get something else. But I wouldn't know what it was if I didn't know the notes. And it's like the moment like I feel like I smell something else. The flannel sheets or the I smell snow comes like right in. This is an amazing blend. I love her blends, y'all. That's one thing I love about Melissa's wax is not even that I get amazing throw with her wax is that she has blends that 
I haven't seen anywhere else with any other render. <clears throat> Next we have is Enchanted Woods. These are her big mamas. Easy cuts, and this is Palo Santo Be Enchanted type and velvet sandalwood. So I smelled Be Enchanted type. My best friend had the lotion, and I was like, mm, I don't know if I like this or not. But then again, I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all notice. So if y'all buy like Bath and Body Works, like like their lotions, not the one with like the top you can pop with like um the light the squeeze tube one the body cream y'all let me know if y'all can smell a difference as it gets older <clears throat> because i feel like when i smelled it i might have not liked it because it was an older bottle oh my gosh y'all oh. oh i wish i would have got more of this this smells amazing and y'all, she picked the perfect name because when I smell this, that's what it smells like. Enchanted Woods. It just smells like, oh, y'all, this one's so good. I get the Palo Santo. I get the Be Enchanted type. And I get whatever velvet sandalwood smells like. First, I need to smell that on its own. I want some by itself because I smell it in here. Like I get the, oh y'all. I feel like the Palo Santo and the velvet sandalwood is like blended so amazing. This is very much body care. Be Enchanted Type is a Bath and Body Works. But this is like very much body care for me. Like be enchanted with like. With like a, I don't want to say woody note to it, but just like, like a, like a, like a deep, sexy woody note to it. Because it doesn't smell like, like woods to me. So this one, I can't get out easy like that one, but what I'm gonna do, because I like to cut my easy cuts, I don't like to scoop them out because they cut like butter. I am going to pop this in the freezer so it can kind of come off of the inside. But this one smells amazing. This is very much like sexy body care. I would love that in a lotion. Next, we have our one of my favorites. These happens to be my first favorite. Well, I don't know. These are neck and neck for me, y'all. But she has a couple different types of formulas. She has her butter blends, which I don't believe there's any on the website right now. Maybe her chunk muffins, I believe, might be. Don't quote me on that, y'all. She has her easy cuts, which y'all, they cut like butter. I love them. She has her scoopables. Love these. They throw amazing, and I get throw for days with these. And then she has her mini melts, which is like her harder um, wax formula. But I love these, y'all. But this one is green tea and lemongrass. Someone in the group posted about this. She was cooking for Thanksgiving or like prepping and she was like trying to get the smell, um, you know, out of the house and, you know, it's waxy. You want to throw some wax in the warmer to, you know, help deodorize the smell. And she was saying how surprised she was because it was so, such a comforting scent. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab it. So the notes are herbal green tea, which I'm sold right there. Lemongrass, I love lemongrass. Lemongrass citrus, ozone, jasmine, and light musk in this elegant scent. So before I sniff, these are her mini melts. I love these. There's no cutting involved. Just stole however many, however little you want in the warmer and just be on your way. 
and you can adjust if you just add a little bit feel like you need more you can do so oh wow this Okay, if y'all get nothing off the website, y'all pick this up. This is just, I don't even know how to describe this one. Sorry for being quiet, y'all. I'm like, I don't lost for words with this because... First, I don't get lemongrass. If y'all know, if y'all have ever smelled lemongrass, um, there he is. <laughs> if y'all ever smell like fresh lemongrass or lemongrass essential oil, y'all know how strong and pungent it can be. This is beautiful. And she described it elegant scent it really 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 is oh this is so nice this is y'all i can't even just describe this to y'all all i can say is i get green tea i get citrus but i think what rounds out if I'm not mistaken, this is a single oil, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what I feel kind of rounds out this whole scent is the ozone and jasmine. Y'all, this, this is, this is beautiful. It's, it's pretty, it's elegant. It's just beautiful. I like it's not pretty as in like body care pretty. It's just like you walk into someone's home and it's wow, it smells beautiful in here. It's this one. Yes. I really, really like that one. I cannot wait to get that in the warm one. Next we have cotton breeze. If we can get it to focus, there we go. I love this one. Um, scent of clean cotton and fresh clean breezes intertwines with sun-dried cotton, fresh cut green notes, white flowers, and a hint of lemon, grassy vetiver, aromatic cedarwood, warm musk, and woody notes. This is a single oil, so that's a lot. For me, I when I got into vendor wax, I thought everything was a blend. If it had more than one scent note, it was a house blend. It was something that the vendor put together. But I learned very quickly that a lot of these, what I thought were blends, were single oils. And then I kind of steered away from certain things that had like the fresh cut green notes, grassy, vetiver, and because I was just like, oh no, I'm not going to like that. But what I've learned, especially with the cottons and the linen single oils, is a lot of them have these types of note. Um, Lily of the Valley, green notes. Some of them, I believe there's uh, one with peach in it. It might be white clouds. I'm not sure. And it's just like, you don't get it. But it's part of the notes. So I've learned to just kind of try out these single oils that have these type of notes in them because it's not going to smell what you think it smells like. It's going to, yeah. This is just, I love this one. This to me smells like clean cotton, met some soap. It's almost like, if I had to say, it to me, like I said, it smells like clean cotton met a bar of white soap. To me, it's like a mix of Dove and Ivory. 
I feel like I can get ivory, but I mainly get like a white bar dove. But then it's like I kind of get hints of ivory. This smells amazing. This to me is definitely a whole house melt. I melt this anywhere in the house. I have this in a much bigger size, but I love this one. Clean cotton and white soap is what it smells like to me. The next one we have is a blend. Cottage Breeze, Dr. Feel Good, Sexy Little Things, and Deadly Weapon. Now, I have a blend with Dr. Feel Good, Sexy Little Things, and Deadly Weapon. And it has something else. I want to say Chocolate Orchid, I believe. And I love that one. But I hear... Um, one person in specific in the group who loves Cottage Breeze. And I was like, okay. She doesn't have Cottage Breeze on the website. I missed out when she had it. Mm, not happy about it, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> so I was like, okay. I kind of get an idea of what the rest of the notes smell like together. So maybe I can kind of pinpoint what Cottage Breeze may smell like. That was my thought process behind getting this. Ooh. Okay, yep. So this to me is reminiscent of the other blend. The other blend I have, I'm almost positive. Actually, I'm going to grab it for y'all because I want to smell them side by side to see. I thought it was okay maybe what I'm smelling is the sexy little things so the blend that I have is amber white which amber white I think is the type chocolate orchid and sexy little things I know chocolate orchid smells like by itself and uh, let me smell this one okay no these smell completely different Okay. This to me smells like perfume. I'm not a Beth and Body Works body splash. Like a true perfume. Like Like, I'm spraying this on. I'm spraying it heavily because I'm going to get somebody to come home with me tonight. <laughs> That's That to me is what this smells like. With a hint of freshness. It's almost like you washed up with like a very fresh bar of soap because I feel like bar of soap and body wash stick different to the body. Um, I feel like bar of soap scent, the scent of the bar of soap sticks with you longer outside of the shower compared to a body wash. Yes, that's what that smells like to me. It smells like, y'all, I feel like I'm terrible at these descriptions, but the best way for me to describe it is like scenarios. That's what that smells like. It smells like you washed up with like a fresh, clean bar of soap. Your body's still smelling like soap and you go over your body with like this sexy, sexy, deep perfume. Yep. I love this one. <laughs> Next we have is High Tide. I love this one. This is a single oil. 
I love blending this actually. I blended this with something, I believe I posted it in a group, y'all. I can't remember what I blended it with. Black Sea is what I blended this one with, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like High Tide would blend with so many things. I think I might blend this with some kind of cotton. Let's see if I can take it out. I believe I can. I tried taking one of these out last time and was not successful at doing so. So I'm not going to try again. But I feel like High Tide can blend with so, so many things. Y'all, one thing I am not good at is blending. So, listen, try it out yourself. Just blend different things. I feel like what help helps me. So, when it comes to doing customs with any vendor, nine times out of ten, I am picking other people's customs. I don't make customs of my own. I'm just not that confident in myself to do so. But I do get a lot of single oils to blend myself at home. And it's really on, I like to melt the single oils by themselves, see what they smell like on their own. And just kind of, okay, that would smell good with this. And that would smell good with that. And, you know, these two don't work. And for me, it's fun blending. I love blendings. You'll have, you know, like White Clouds, for instance. White Clouds, for me, is not a strong thrower at all by any means. I don't get really good throw with White Clouds. But in a blend, know that that White Clouds is going to show up and show out. So it's just, I have fun blending. One of these days, I'm going to be confident enough to come up with my own blends. <laughs> Um, so this here came in a bag. These are her simmering salts. Um, directions for use. Place a spoonful of simmering salts on your warmer and enjoy. That's it. Once it fades, you can simply toss or place back in the container and add refresher oils. Allow them, allow to soak until it's fully absorbed and then they are ready to be used again. So I've used my simmering salt I have in Mountain Lake. And I love it, y'all. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, Mountain Lake smells amazing. Comfort Zone, I don't like by itself. So this one for me, I was kind of iffy on getting it. But she had Mountain Spring on the website. But it was sold out. Mountain Spring is a downy type. And I don't ever remember smelling it. It's not one that they sell in stores anymore. You can get it on Amazon for a ridiculous price. And... I was going to order some, but then I realized it wasn't sold by Amazon or it wasn't shipped by Amazon. It was shipped through a third party and I was just like, it'd be my luck. I'd never get it. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just get this and see if I can smell anything. Ooh, I like this. I get the mountain lake. I get comfort zone. I just think that I don't like comfort zone on its own. I'm just not a fan of it by itself. And what I feel like I get the most besides that mountain lake is the mountain spring. Here's my cat on the chair next to me. Yes, I like this. So I've tried the simmering salts in a couple of different warmers. I tried it in my Sensi 25 watt. Um, I got a good throw from that. Now I will say that in my 25 watt Sensi warmer, when I put wax in it, um, the throw is further than the simmering salts, but I definitely get throw from this um, 
tea light warmer about choked me out <laughs> but these work amazing i didn't toss mine out i don't have the oils to replenish what are you doing milo but what i did do is i threw it back in there i mixed it up and and just kind of let it absorb from the other ones now if y'all try these um recommendation from trial and error um i use the scoop and i left it in there so i wouldn't mix it up with my other scoops that was a bad idea the crystals kind of gotten uh caked onto this so what i find works the best is to scoop out what you need put it in however many warmers you're going to use clean this right away the first time that I used it, I kind of just left it out of the warmer and just, I didn't wipe it. And it was kind of, um, left a residue on the spoon. And then I left it in there thinking maybe, okay, it being in the oils, it may help. That didn't help. But rest assured, it does not leave my warmers like that. I have dumped it out of the warmer while they were still warm. I have dumped it out of the warmer when the warmer was turned off for a couple of days and I dumped them out, I had n absolutely no residue on my warmers. Okay, so I have a Big Daddy loaf. These are, let me take it out of the wrapping for y'all. These are the Big Daddy sizes. And I got this one out of, I uh, don't want to say recommendation. Um, the young lady that posted about this one also posted about this one. And she was like, just smelled it and was like, had the emoji that was like this. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. Not a fan of sweater weather by any means. I like sandalwood. Don't know what purple sandalwood smells like. But I love cotton breeze. So I was like, okay. Has cotton breeze in it. Can't go wrong, right? So I'm nervous to smell this, y'all. Nervous because I'm excited. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to just... Take that out. Take these off here. Because I don't want to make a mess. Because I want to take it out of the container. Even though, you know what? I'm just going to use my receipt, my invoice. Because I want to show y'all the bottom. How it says, like, the mic is splatted on it. Oh, so this is an interesting blend. I'm going to say that first and foremost, because I can get the eucalyptus from Sweater Weather. But y'all, what is making this blend for me? I all I've never smelled it by itself, but I already know it's a purple sandalwood. So like I get the eucalyptus and like to me, sweater weather it's I don't know, I'm not a fan of sweater sweater weather by itself. Say that five times. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it by itself. But y'all, this blend, that purple sandalwood is amazing. I'm going to smell Cotton Breeze because I feel like I don't get Cotton Breeze. Like, I can't hint out the Cotton Breeze in this. No. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. I get the eucalyptus from Sweater Weather. I also get like a woodiness, but I don't, I don't. It's not from the sandalwood. To me, sandalwood is not woody. Um, 
fresh sandalwood yeah um i think cedarwood to me is more woody and driftwood but i get like to me sweater weather kind of smells like eucalyptus and branches like wood oh this one's amazing Yes, girl, you were right about this one. This one smells amazing. I cannot wait to get this in the warmer. All right. Hi, Milo. My kitty is sitting here right next to my box. He is probably about 12 weeks old. We got him when he was probably about six to eight weeks somewhere around there and I thought he was a girl because he looked like one and I didn't you know see anything hanging but I shortly found out that it takes a while to find out if your cats are males or females and we got him from a barn um someone um my sister-in-law having a brain fart y'all she knows where she gets her cats from. Um, they have them on a barn and I noticed he had fleas so I had to take him a bath and I was like, oh, okay, so there they are. He's a boy. <laughs> so he went from Millie to Milo. So the last item that I got in this order is Dead Man Tells No Tales. This was part of her Halloween theme lows. This one is a masculine blend of Viking man, sandalwood, bergamot waters, frankincense, and frozen blue waters. So I got this because I want to say they were like 30% off. And I was like, you know what? I want to get one. I don't know which one to get. And I kind of wanted to just get one i usually wouldn't get i'm i love masculine blends i really do really do but this one i was just like mm. if it was in a smaller size maybe i would get it so i was like you know what just go for it and then i looked on um the group to see if anybody had gotten it you know just to like see what anybody thought love this one I love the Halloween theme lows the decorations on them and everything I want to turn this upside down and see what it looks like oh <laughs> this one has two tins <laughs> oh I smell it already y'all I haven't even gone to sniff it and I smell it already I'm trying to get it out of the tent oh I love this color Melissa all right, so there is the top, and the bottom has like this deep midnight blue. It looks black on camera, but no, it's definitely like this deep midnight blue with like, oh, this is beautiful. I love this. I hate chopping into these lows, y'all. They break my heart. Ooh, this is sexy. This is yes. This is this is straight up manly blend. I get the frozen blue waters. If I'm not mistaken. That's a Bath and Body Works type. I get the bergamot waters. The frankincense is really just blended in with it. I love frankincense, um, and I know what it smells like on its own. So I get the hints of, I apologize, he's on his game. So I get the hints of the frankincense. I don't get sandalwood. Sandalwood is just probably just blended in there really well. But I feel like what I smell the most like the... The masculine manly blend part of this is the Viking man. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if it's a cologne. But I love this. This one is nice. 
This one is just like, this to me could go for like a man's cologne or man's body wash. Yeah, I like this. This one smells amazing. Oh yes, I love this one. I'm so happy that I picked that one up. I had a feeling I would like it because of the bergamot waters and the frozen lake. Um, I've had frozen lake by itself. I only bought it once and I was just like, you know what? I don't think I'll buy it again. I like it, but not enough to buy it again. So in this blend, I really, really love it. So yes, y'all, this is my haul. I'm so excited to be back recording. I have empties I need to record. My basket is overflowing from the last time that I recorded with just wax and other things. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you waxes in the next one. Bye.